I'm sure you know about Kirkpatrick's training evaluation model. Reaction is the first level of this model. At this stage, we major try to guess how learners reacted to the entire training program. Their feelings, their perception about the training program is assessed. We try to get information, what are their feelings, what they thought about the program, how they perceive the program, whether they like the training or not. So this is the first stage where evaluation is done about learners feeling or perception about relevance of objectives. Ability of the course to maintain interest of learners, amount and appropriateness of interactive exercises, all sessions of the program, ease of navigation through the program, particularly if CBT is used, some electronic modules are used and the perceived value and transferability to the workplace. Whether participants feel that whatever they learned or get trained during this training program is worth transferable, worth application at their workplace. All this is about reaction of the participants about the workshop or about that training program almost immediately after the training takes place. So basically, after that particular training program or workshop, smile sheets and happy sheets can be provided. We mean feedback forms are to be distributed and data can be collected through all these feedback forms. When we give, distribute this kind of smile sheets, happy sheets to the participants, it's very easy to immediately obtain data. This is inexpensive because you are not using any other technology for this. Of course, reactions can be sought by online tools, but mainly before participants leave the venue or before the training session gets over. For example, even if the training session is online, then this kind of forms can be created, the online survey can be created we, and before we lose touch with all participants, this kind of data can be collected and then the data can be analyzed to evaluate that particular training program on the basis of reaction level. So we saw that happy sheets, smile sheets, opinionaires, interviews can be used as tools to gather data from this level or at this particular level. Instantly some participants can be interviewed whether they like this particular training program, where they have some other expectations which were not fulfilled in this training program, which were the hard spots, for which components they require another training. All these questions can be asked either through some questionnaire or through interviews. Every training program, every workshop is planned with some certain outcomes. Now, the way participants' reactions are important, it is also important for us whether those outcomes were achieved or not. These outcomes which are in re with reference to the content which is to be taught, the skills on which participants were trained, attitude changes if those are expected, if this is met then we can say that learning happened. This kind of evaluation is learning evaluation in that particular or as per that model. So what do we do? We plan some test which can evaluate learning of the learner that is content, skills and attitudes, values, whether those are achieved or not or whether participants have acquired those skills outcomes are not. What kind of tools will be needed for this kind of assessment? Participants are generally assessed by conducting tests before and after the training session. Here we can see how participants had performed on the test before session and after session whether there is some significant difference in the achievement or not. 
Assessment can be done by peers, managers and instructors. Even we can assign some task based, work based projects and see whether participants are able to perform well in those projects or not. Participants can be interviewed. Now this interview is not about what they feel about the training program, but these interviews are generally about what they acquired or achieved from those training sessions. Even some observations can be done about immediate reactions, change in behavior of those particular participants. At learning level, we evaluate immediate change in behavior, but does not mean transfer of learning. To see transfer of learning, we need to check, observe, evaluate behavior after a certain period of time. This stage answers whether or not learners' behaviors changed as a result of new learning. Now this is comparatively difficult to measure. For example, after the entire BA training program, if we go to school and if we check observe behavior teaching sessions of trainees, then that will show us whether the BA program had any impact on the trainee or not, whether there is any transfer of learning in the teacher who has acquired that training or not. Ideally, the measurement is therefore conducted three to six months after the training program because as I said, to implement, to transfer this learning, it will require some incubation time. So if there is, go if we are going to see whether there is permanent change in the trainee or not, we need to give some time gap and then evaluate or observe behavior of that particular trainee. This assessment needs to be designed to reduce subjective judgment of the observer or interviewer which is a variable factor that can affect reliability and consistency of measurements. Generally, it is objected that when students or participants face viva voci or if they are interviewed immediately after the training program, many a times it can be leading to subjective judgment or there is some bias of the person who is conducting training program. Beyond all these biases and beyond all this subjective judgment is the actual behavior of the trainee after undergoing the training program on his or her workplace. These assessments are embedded within existing management procedures. You may be knowing about appraisals. So appraisals help us evaluate that particular employees or participants trainees behavior impact after that particular training. Here, when we evaluate a particular learner, a particular trainee, we don't only depend on learners writing or filling up any survey, but we use some feedback forms, some surveys which are to be filled by persons other than that particular training. Literally, all kinds of stakeholders can give those surveys immediate mentors, bosses, their employers, peers, they evaluate on the basis of that person's behavior on the job. Now you must have realized that performance indicators are important. The person is evaluated on the basis of key performance indicators which will talk about how the person behaves, how the person functions, how the person works, does his job or her job, whether effectively or not. If you ask why this kind of training programs are conducted, then you will get the answer about result level in Kirkpatrick's model. Ultimately, we arrange, organize this kind of training programs because we like to have long-term impact on the entire business or on the entire industry. If you talk about education system, then also whenever we wish to see a drastic change, major change to happen in that particular organization, then we plan and conduct in-service teacher training programs. If we see major changes 
in this kind of institutes, organizations, then we can say that at the result level, this training succeeded. What kind of key indicators need to be measured in this case? There may be increase in production, increase in sale, decrease in cost, quality can be measured for its improvement. You can say that there are now reduction in frequency of accidents or there is higher profit, there is higher return on investment, there is more favorable feedback from customers, stakeholders, peers, subordinates and there is positive change in management style, there is reduced staff turnover. This is about a business organization. If you talk about any other educational sector, then you can also apply this result level as again favorable feedback from students, parents, society, improved quality of students education. You can say that learners performance has increased or now the learners of this particular institution are multifaceted, society is accepting them. If we are talking about any higher education, then we can say that our students are being absorbed. There is increase in their packages. There is increase in employment, job opportunities for the students passing out from this particular institution. All these can be considered as indicators of evaluation at result level. So if we talk about industry again, then you might be knowing that there are regular appraisals of employees. So annual appraisals are used to evaluate employees performance. There can be annual reports of a certain department that relates to or is attributed to performance of a trained personnel. So these kinds of documents reflect result level evaluation. So now you might have realized that at Kirkpatrick's model or by applying Kirkpatrick's model, we can completely evaluate the entire training program right from reaction level to result level. Thank you.